Sorry, Leo, your reading literally just cut off as soon as I heard the name of the person. That's like a name. Okay, look. You miss this person. You love this person. You care about this person. But you've allowed so much pain to infect you that when you think of this person, all you, rem all you have to get through is the pain first before you can see the love that was there already. It's almost like you've built so many layers of excuses and lies because flies are lies from friends usually. Fly, lie, F is the friend, lie is the following. There could be somebody in your life with the initials flow that's lying to you or F-L-I. Um, there are, I'm not going to say names, I'm just going to, because I don't want any of this being pointed at the reader. This is for Leo. Leo, the names I'm hearing are Lee, Ray, Charles, Cor, Cork, Cork, Corky, Quirky. No. Why can't I say this name? What is this? What the fuck is this feeling that I'm feeling? Clarify. What am I feeling right now? What is this? Yo. I'm gonna just... Whoa, I'm picking up on somebody really not... That I don't want to be picking up on. Give me a minute, because I just... I'm going to say this as gracefully as I can, okay? Because I'm being shown a situation in life that I have lived through, and it was really unpleasant. It was like being married to Satan. And then having, like, being blamed for Satan's actions. It was fucked up. And if, if you've been in a situation with somebody where there's been so much pain in your relationship that's caused you to be blind to the ecstasy that was there first, become really, really, really aware that you were blinded to the love for a reason to keep you from the love. This person, before the video cut off earlier, I was asking how is this person going to respond to you when you show up, if you show up, like this. And I'm, hold on, I gotta get the last unicorn deck out. I just heard Molly Gru's voice in my head. How is this person gonna feel if and when Leo decides to make contact with this person? Larry? Who the fuck is Larry? King of Coins. So this person that you would be making contact with feels like they would feel very guarded and ready to strike or like feeling very defensive it, it's literally like what are you doing here like <laughs> you're here to take the rest of this pentacle is this what you want you can have it if that's what you want just just go away yeah the person you would be going to sees through lies now. They know who they are. They have boundaries. They have health. They have their well-being. They have their foundations. They have their life. There is still grief regarding what you and this person went through because they knew of how beautiful a relationship could be with you, but they're not really willing to open up to you because they enjoy the peace with their single life far more than having to get you to see your blinded pain that has blinded you towards the connection of a lifetime ecstasy a connection of multiple lifetimes <clears throat> so aries leo what's your advice what, what should leo do temperance honesty sincerity emotional communication taking responsibility for what you've done, said, and didn't do, learning to cut a potato a different way instead of constantly doing it and hurting yourself. Communicate with love. Let that fountain overflow within you. The best medicine for any deceit is truth. 
this person really, really, really loves you, and they, it's almost as if, I'm, oh my god, oh my god, Leo, this person in your life loves you so fucking much that they were willing to sacrifice who they were just to be with you. The scene in this in this movie, in the book, where the unicorn is standing there doing this is the moment where the unicorn realizes she's she's at a crossroads between saving the love of her life or saving herself. And she stops and she looks back and she's like, oh my God, the love of my life is gone. And she charges into the rest of her life and leaves everything behind. She doesn't go back to him. Not in the way that he wanted her to be. And in the story, he gets left like this, leading a kingdom by himself, living a life of regret with somebody he's not happy with. And in the second book, it's he doesn't even exist. That prince is just gone. A story, a chapter that was closed off. And I think you can feel that, Leo. This person that you see as your unicorn has waited for you for so long. For so long. This, this connection goes beyond lifetimes. Look at these little stars here. It's like the universe around you showing you the connection between you and this person has gone on longer than you've both been consciously aware of your consciousness. It goes deep down deep and every time your tree and their tree has been split see how they the high priestess sits in the pillar right but here it's the unicorn in the and molly grew sitting in between the pillars you're you're focused in on this union that you had that you walked away from and the advice for you is make the move leo make the move This, this person is part of your soul tribe. And whether you go with them or not, whether you go hand in hand, because look at this picture here, this image. Sorry, phones, whatever, I don't fucking care. Hold on, my nail keeps scratching the back of the phone case. There. That guy loves her. This guy manipulated her and him and her with good intentions so to speak she was abandoned and left in the woods for her entire life by her family her parents blah 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 and all she ever wanted was to see this unicorn in her youth in her youth she didn't get to see the unicorn until she was near death and she grieved and that moment of grief is in the um Whatever, it was in the Six of Cups that I was showing you. Which is now the Six of Coins at the bottom of the deck. You see how they're all resting together? The traitors, the kings, the mythical creatures, the maids, the, the empresses, whatever. They're all resting together near this portal with three swords. And one down here. Why is the three swords between the two men, the traitor and the king, and the unicorn in between protecting Molly Brew? So this person is in your soul tribe. They're part of you. It could be a twin flame connection. I don't fucking know how you want to label it. You guys screwed up a lot. You screwed up a lot, multiple lifetimes, and in this lifetime you're being given a chance to finally accept those two cups. If you don't, that, that's, that's your karma to deal with. If you do, you get everything you ever wanted and more through the Ecstasis card and the Singer of Connection. Choice is yours. Go with the traitor, go with the love of your life. Eventually, all of them come together anyway, including the traitor and the love of your life, become best friends while you get left in the dust. At some point, not in a bad way, but like the connections between all of you are not just designated to these two or to these two. Molly Gru knows Schmendrick, Prince Lear knows Molly Gru, they all know the unicorn, the unicorn knows all of them. They even know the King of Pentacles here, who was a hunter that went out to hunt. And then he stopped hunting because he noticed the purity of the unicorn in the woods. So he turned around and left. So, I 
I feel like I'm reading for a friend of mine, and it's really annoying. Like, I, I almost feel like I could literally name these four people in this picture. And I'm not, I'm not a part of it, but it's like I can recognize this energy. And Leo, if, if you could care about this person, the advice to you is go get them. If you don't, the advice is continue to be blind to the pain until the pain gets so bad, you have no choice but to pay attention to it. Either way, your soul is going to be cleansed and you're going to have your clarity. It's up to you whether you cut yourself with that clarity or you rest easy with your soul tribe. Someone's been lying to you. Could be multiple people. Could be three different card readers. See the swords? Three different insights coming to you, keeping you separated. While the love of your life, like this guy, because he's a redhead, he's a Leo, right? Fiery sign. The sun or whatever, and the solar sign right there, the, or the orb. I just lost my train of thought because I was looking at this and I thought the eclipse. So maybe on the 14th or the 15th by around 3 p.m. or 4 p.m., you, you, like you might have this sudden realization of how much you fucked up in your life. Because we got to remember the strength card here. The strength card only appears after you've tamed the beast inside you. You tame the beast inside you after you get the clarity. You get the clarity after acknowledging the illusion. You acknowledge the illusion after acknowledging the mistake you made. You acknowledge the mistake you made by realizing the words that weren't said externally to cause healing. So you denied healing to yourself and to someone else by remaining silent. And the universe is now pointing at you and saying, your turn. Who, do you want somebody to remain silent while you're healing? Or do you want to actually take the blindfold off and join the collective of decent human beings? Up to you. But the, the like, it's not going to go to 14 and 15 and 16. No, 13. It's already the 13th moon. And it's a new moon. And you're blinded to what's eating you alive. Your choice. My advice to you as a reader... Let go of the past and move into the future. You don't want to be petty. Don't be petty. You're being initiated into a new stage of your life where you're going to be asked to be more mature. So if you want to be more mature, then reach out and communicate and set the standard for what you deem is maturity. Because so far, this reading is all about childish bullshit. He said, she said, blinded to the pain, no one's talking, no one's doing anything, and then there's this baby sitting there like, bruh, what a bunch of idiots. Wasting love, wasting truth, wasting energy, experiences, moments, memories, lifetime after lifetime, all while I sit here and wait for people to do the right thing. It's fine. I can keep waiting. The maiden is eternal. She has all the patience in existence. She is enjoying her life and letting things flow. Come chaos, come stability, come God, who cares? It's a maiden. It's a loving life. <clears throat> Queen of Cups. Leo, Leo, Leo. What a tangled web you've woven. I don't want to give you false hope, and I don't want to lie to you. But I'm going to tell you this immediately because it is a message coming in to you directly, and I will pull a card to verify this for you. If you don't make a move within the next 48 hours, this person will leave your life permanently. I, I sense it, I see it, I feel it, I'm reading it through the cards. Two of Swords, a lock, and no key. Moonstones, down here being for the Divine Feminine. The Divine Feminine isn't even considering this road anymore because it's been locked for so long she doesn't think it'll ever open. There's no key. But in the book, the key that opens this lock is the horn of the unicorn. The, the ray of light, purity coming through from the heart all the way through the spinal cord, through the skull, out of the forehead, opens the lock. So heartfelt communication opens the lock towards whatever is behind this door. 
Now, what's behind that door, universe? What incentive does Leo have to be a decent human being? Oh, here's the key. The key is within your grasp, being handed to you by an angelic figure, helping you break free of the fucking stupidity humanity has put you in, where you were thinking you can't get out of it, but it's just a transparent, blinded to the pain glass, like a blindfold. You break free, you grab the key, you open the lock, and boom. And if this is going to be a very basic, like, day-to-day, -day, you know, message to you, you literally pick up the phone and you call someone, and that's the unlocking of the lock. The phone, when you pick it up, makes a click sound. You swipe it to unlock it with your horn. You click the buttons, the buttons. You connect the vines, the numbers, to the matrix, to the reality. Then two communication lines cross to open a lock. But it's the lion's head. See this lock? It's a lion. It's the lion that holds the lock. So this key can try to open it as much as it can, but it won't be because it's the lion's lock. It's the lion not communicating, not whoever this other person is, or other energies, or job, or whatever the fuck it is for you. I'm giving it to you in one example. It's up to you to translate it for your own life. I can't hold your hand and your balls and your tits for you at the same time. I'm simply guiding you in a very Lilith kind of way. I mean, my Mercury is all over Scorpio and Gemini. Give me a fucking break, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I get right to the point. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Leave the channel. If you do, show some support. It's not that difficult. So, uh, the Hierophant. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. You are tired of being alone and you want a committed relationship. Okay, well, if you're tired of being alone and you want a committed relationship, why are you denying what you want to the person you want it with? First two cards were the singer of connection and ecstasis, blinded to the pain. Are you sure you're blinded to the pain, or are you blinded to the love by repeating the pain within your own mind? Because you're not looking at what's there, you're listening to the lies in your head. See that? Nothing I say is going to get you to take that blindfold off. Nothing. See? Quiet. Turn off the noise. Silence nourishes the body, mind, and spirit. It's a choice. You either nurture this connection or you let it fade away. For every action, there is a reaction. Choose wisely. You want the love of your life or do you want to be... Blinded to the pain. Your choice. My advice is, even if you don't reconnect with whoever this is, your obsession with this person is driving you crazy. So get it out of your own system by, by creating some sense of balance or peace within you so that you can walk your road ahead juggling and joy and happiness instead of juggling how you're going to keep denying what you feel. I'm gonna go. I hope this helps. Um, there is no judgment from me, the reader, to you. There is absolutely no criticism from me to you. I, William Roma Arsinos, do not give a fuck what you do with your life anymore at all whatsoever. Like, you guys do your, do your thing. You do you. I'm just here giving you the advice and trying to kind of, you know, point the way of like where you're going that has this in it. Because I'm trying to get you to not go this way, but instead go that way. Lily, you literally are the most annoying cat in existence today. I want you to know that. But you don't care. So, welcome to the community of our life. See? It's a cat, right? Love, happiness, blah, blah, blah. But she's literally imposing on every fucking boundary I have while I'm trying to get a message across to you. And she doesn't even care. 
So someone in your life is literally fucking with you and they don't even care. They want you to clean up their shit, they want you to feed them, and they want you to let them do whatever they want in your life while you remain in a state of suffering and isolation. How much more of, of, of this? One foot in, one foot out. For no reason. Just to be a nuisance. Like, it's not even to pet her, it's not to love her, it's not to hold her, because she scratches me when I do that. She doesn't want to be picked up or held. So she's walking here to bring a message to you. Someone is literally walking all over your fucking destiny while they take your energy like they did with Aries, and then they're constantly telling you, don't pay attention to why you're hurting. Because why you're hurting is because you miss this other person or this other version of yourself. But you don't seem to be listening. So, I know I'm in perfect acceptance. I can't get you to make the right choices in your lives. So, I'm just going to be reading the cards for you like this, and or uh, whatever the message comes through. I, I hope you make the right decision for you, Leo. I don't know who you are, I don't know what you've been doing, but it seems like you really want something and you really love somebody. And you've made a lot of mistakes, but you've learned from them. And, wow. Oh. You were manipulated by a woman in your life. Single, manipulative, master manipulator type of person. Not a creator, a manipulator of energy. A female figure that isn't young, isn't old. It's a mother figure. The Empress is a mother. She creates. Doesn't mean she creates beauty. Sometimes she creates deceit. Sometimes she takes energy and steals it and does horrible things with it. Sometimes, like, she, there's this, like, oh, woe is me, carry this burden for me, child of mine. And like, nah. Nah. Just, just no. No, 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 no. The, this female figure in your life has kept you from that which you want. And she has reminded you of the reasons to stay away from it all the time. And you're tired of it. Because you want what you want, and not having what you want hurts too much. So what you do is go get what you want, fuck what everybody else says. Because you want your queen, your soulmate, your divine partner, and the universe is saying, go fucking get them. What are you waiting for? 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 What the fuck are you waiting for? What 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 are you spying for? What are you walking away from? What are you letting manipulate you? What are you has sharing your sexual energy with that doesn't fucking care about you and leaves you there feeling like dirty? Like... With the people you offered your cup to, they don't even take your cup. They just spill it. And they're like, thanks, bye. Now I have a new cup to drink something else out of. Look at this. Your life seems to be a mess, Leo. Why am I the reader that has to point this out to you? Bruh. Like, for real. And then I get, I, the reader, gets bitched at and like, called mean and like I'm schooling you or whatever but you guys like brah seriously it's like being a fucking kindergarten and every kid is like pulling each other's hair and they're fighting and they're yelling and they're screaming and they're crying why because they all want to play together like Leo I mean this in the most respectful fucking way I, I don't care about my YouTube channel's success or fame. I don't care about money. I don't care about food, really. I've barely eaten in two weeks, and I'm totally okay. And I really don't give a fuck what you think of me. So when I'm telling you these messages, it is not to gain anything from you. Okay? If it was, I'd have a webcam, wouldn't I? So it's not about me or what I want. It's about you and what you're denying yourself. And your guides and your energies are coming to me, bitching at me, through me, to you, saying, again with that name. Bro, if someone's named Corey in this reading, you have some fucking audacity to be on this channel.